Frank, good morning, grade 10. Good morning, grade 10. Leo. Time for the class. Is it 810 right now? No. Yeah, it is. So before we start our uh, class, uh, we're going to do a quick review for the previous class. For the previous chapter. You now have you now have 30 seconds. Welcome, Jonah. Take a seat. You now have 30 seconds to discuss with your partner. It's a pair work. Okay, it's a pair work. So you have 30 seconds to discuss with your partner about the correct term which match to the you know, definition. Start. Of all arbitrary. 
what is the function of or R3? To pump up around the A, B, which option do you prefer? C return as to pump blood around the body, but the function of pumping blood should be an organ inside our body, oh. right? That's heart. That's the job of heart. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Then what's the function of artery? Yeah. To transport blood away from the heart. A, A, A. It's not D, or maybe I should say it's not the main function of uh, arteries. A the correct answer is A. A. To deliver oxygen, to deliver oxygen, because we know that um, arteries contain the oxygen, oh, sorry, oxygenated blood inside, right? All right, uh, quiz number two. Which component of blood transport dissolves carbon dioxide? What do you think is the answer? Red blood cell? I heard Leo say that. Do you guys agree with it? Sorry? What? Yes. What was your question? Do you guys agree with that? Yes. yes. That's right. Red blood cell. The last individual work. Which two area contain deoxygenated blood? D. Leo say it should be area R and S. Agree. Do you agree or disagree? Agree. Right. All right. Um, that's all the quiz that we are going to review for today. Now let's start our new lessons. Chapter 10, Pathogens and Immunity. And to start that, I have, a qu I have two questions prepared for you guys. Question number one, have you ever been sick? Yeah, no. And what was the reason you think that caused you sick? So you can talk with the partner. So um, remember that we have made a team with each other with, with each other when we do the first part. So now please exchange your partner and discuss with the new partner. For example, Donna, you were talking with William before. Now I want you to talk with either Leo or Amanda. Yeah, feel free to leave your seat. Do you want me to repeat my question? Do you ever been sick? And what was the reason you think that caused you sick? Walk, move. Change your seat. And change your partner. Don't I think it's better for you to sit over here? Because it's just four of us. Group two, William. Uh, because all, all the 
your body are weak. Yeah. But you should be strong at your age. <coughs> <laughs> so you didn't consider, you guys didn't consider what, what was the reason why that makes you sick, right? I know. There must be some reason. Yes. And this reason is actually returning my slide. Yes. Right, okay. So, um, whatever the reason is, you, you mentioned it's maybe because of the temperature, maybe because of the, uh, because you're sick. <laughs> then um, all the reason could be, you know, connected with a word that is called pathogen. What is pathogen? Here, I want you to write this, to write down this definition on your notebook. Pathogen is a microorganism that cause disease. So it could be some kind of virus or probably bacteria, protodistics, uh, pro or fungi. Oh, can I remove this thing? Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> now I have a Did you write that down? Yeah. Yes. Now I have a question for you. Do you think pollen could be hunt as one of the top of uh, pathogen? What is pollen? Pollen. Do you think pollen could be counted as one of the pathogen. Pathogen. Pollen is the is the thing that inside flower. So uh, the butterfly and bee can, you know, deliver or pollination the pollen to different flowers so that the flower can, you know, do the reproduction. Yes. 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 Do you understand what is pollen? Yes. So do you think pollen could be counted as a kind of pathogen? Yes. Donna said yes. What about you guys? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Why do you suddenly change? Yes. <laughs> Give me an answer. Give me a, you know, make I, sure your answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say no. You think no? Leo said yes. Okay. William and Amanda, what's your opinion? Yeah. Yeah. Yes for Amanda. No for William. What's the reason? You say no. I think pollen is not a microorganism. Correct. Pollen cannot be counted as pathogen because it's not a microorganism. It's not living. Yes. If you want to, you know, uh, uh, distinguish pollen as one of the thing, then you should do, it should belong to antigen. Antigen. <clears throat> any material, any Antigen. other thing that is non-living could be con which also makes you sick could be con as antigen. It's another different part. But uh, but pathogen <clears throat> has be has to be a living thing, a microorganism. Does that make sense? Yes. Great. Next uh, is about the disease. So the disease could be could be classified as two different type: transmissible disease or non-communicable disease. So um, here, I want you to discuss with your partner again. What is the definition of transmissible or communicable disease, and what is the definition of non-communicable disease? Just based on the you know based on the name of the term, you can discuss with each other because it's kind of you know easily to understand. Discuss. discuss. And I need an answer. You can Please write down on this sticker. Write that down. You give me a definition. You give a transmission kind of disease can be transposed to others, such as herpes and crabs. Don't punch your partner. You can discuss more. 
more loudly and so that I can hear you. Disease can't be transposed to other, such as cancer. <coughs> Do you have that, sir? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I see group one as William and uh, Leo. So group two is Amanda and Donna. So group one, Leo. <laughs> What's your answer? Right, but I want you to you know give more details. You said you said uh, communicable disease is a disease that could be transferred, but from what to what? You should give me more detail. That that you know that makes more sense. Uh, but that's okay. I like your answer. Um, group two, Donna. We think transmission disease is so disease you may easily you may. Uh, Give to others by different ways, such as sex, drinking with drinking the same water, using the same toilet, and the example of it is H HIV, HPV, herpes, and the the non-transmission disease means that kind of disease still can't be transferred to others, such as cancer. Very incredible. Their group even gave some example to show the correct answer. Very good. So here's the definition. I want you I to write that down. If you um, write that on your notebook. So the disease that's caused by pathogen can usually be passed from one host to another. By that, the host means it could be person, it could be animal, it could also be some other living thing. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. And non-communicable disease is those diseases that could not spread out. For example, cancer or heart attack. We have learned this disease from the previous chapter. Remember? It's heart attack. It's not a disease that could transfer to, you know, from people to people. So let's make sure the definition and write that down. Communicable. Uh, what we can see through your textbook is, you know, transmissible. Transmissible disease is a disease that, you know, transfer from uh, a person to another one. Copy that down and, down, and we are going to play a... Should I move on? No. Maybe. Okay, check with your partner. <laughs> Next is about the ways that uh, transmissible disease transmitted. So we are going to discuss what are those ways the, that disease could transfer to people. Give me some example. If this is an individual work. You can just think inside your mind and you know just give me the answer. Is there any way you think that could transfer to people? For example, um, I think Donna has gave some example like HIV, HPV, and herpes, and we are actually honoring the uh, the suffering. Uh, what was the name of the the you know the, the pandar pandemic? I don't know. William says no. We are we were honoring you know um, a pandemic. It's called COVID nineteen, right? So you can discuss.
based on those examples to discuss how this disease transfer or transmitted to people. What are those ways? Yes. Do we understand each other? Yes. yes. Yeah. <coughs> Give me the answer. <coughs> Lots of answers. Feel free to, to think, of course. Air. Through air? Direct contact. Water. Water. What else? Direct contact. Direct contact. Yes. Right, that's the you know big classification. Okay. So C. Um, those transmissible diseases could be classified as two different types: direct contact or indirect contact. So based on the direct contact, we have through. What what, what do you think is direct contact? Touch. Yes, direct contact means you have to touch people or you have to exchange the fluid body, oh, sorry, body fluid. Does that make sense? Yes. But indirect contact means like through air, like for example, the COVID-19 is a kind of indirect contact or probably through the water or some other mediums that you have to use, which is non-living. Any question on that? I believe that we have talked talk about this before, uh, yesterday, so I'm not going to let you write that down, just remember this. You have all the material that I gave yesterday. So, um, is that clear? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yes. Now I want you to do a small work. So see, I have gave you a lot of different desserts over here. What you need to do is, Talk with your group, because we just we're we're four of us. So uh, just talk with each other, and you need to sorry distinguish those diseases into direct contact and indirect contact. Teacher, teacher, I yes. have to say it's it is too small. Oh, let me see if there's actually possible I could make it bigger. Is that big enough? Yes, maybe.
you put, I don't know which area you want to put, so you can just put by itself. Direct contact, we have this two. Right? And for, is there any other disease that you cannot distinguish them clearly? Either it's direct contact or indirect contact. Yes, there is. What was that? For example, the easiest one influenza. You could, get, you could be infected by a person. Or it, you could be infected by the air. Oh, the middle area. Oh, okay. So it's it it sometimes it could be the direct contact, sometimes it's indirect contact. Is that a little bit confusing? Yeah. No, how about fake? It's also it also belongs to uh, the middle the middle area. Those those you know, uh, those light blue could be classified into the middle part. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Um, and that's it. Let's, let's do a very easy experiment now. So here's the experiment that we're going to do, investigating the spread of disease. Uh, before we start this, this game, we need to know the key concept is that universal indicator is a solution that we use to distinguish 
acid, and base. The original color of universal indicator is green. And when pH below seven, the redder uh, the color turned to red. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Okay. So now here we have five cup of different liquid, and I am going to give you. See, they're all uh, transparent. Can I drink? No, you don't drink them. There are three of the transparent liquids are water. water. And only one liquid, don't touch it, and only one liquid is acid. Now I want you to wear the, don't, don't smell it, don't touch it, just put it there. Now please come over here and wear the coat, come. Wear the coat, wear the glove. Come, 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 everybody come. Move, move. Wear the coat, wear the glove. Over there we have glue. There it is. What we need to do is each student will get a bottle of colorless solution. And there are three cups are uh, water, one cup is acid. And step two, each student needs, needs to exchange your body fluid with two students. And remember your order. At the end, I will use the indicator to test what was your what was the color in different people's liquid. If you are positive, then the color turn to what? Red. Red. And if you are negative, the color will stay in green. Green. Okay. Looks like everybody understands the experiment. Now get your, get your liquid and, oh, I don't, I don't think you should, you, you should uh, sit on the, okay, just sit. Never mind, that was Okay. Where you Don't make me again and again remind you. Yeah. I'll give you the order randomly. Because uh, actually I get a uh, part to Linda, but since Linda is not here. Linda is gone! Let's change Linda to. Let's change Linda to Rowena. Why? Because Linda is not here. And here we change to. Amanda. Alright, so Donna, as a first person, please exchange your liquid with Leo first. <laughs> no, just share half with him, and he share half with you. Just share a little bit, that's easy.
Brazil, share with William. And then Leo share with Donna again. Okay, lost. William share with Donna. William share with Amanda. You understand what is share, right? So you give some liquid to her, and she will give some liquid to you as well. Are we done? Do you remember the order that yes. you have ch uh, changed with your partner, the, the, the body fluid? Now it's time to see the answer. Who is positive right now? Before we start, I'll, I would like to remind you. There is one original positive among you guys. There is one original positive one. But... Uh, uh, the rest of the, uh, the the rest of the people were negative. Now, oh, I'm thinking. Uh, before we no, before we test the answer, should I give you the correct answer? No, 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 no. no, no, no. I mean, I mean, I should. You should. You're supposed to uh, to know if you are positive, if you're the original one or not. Okay. No, I'm telling you. Skin. 
See, you, I have shown you the, you know, the picture, and according to the picture, you can make some imagine. Guard imagination. cell. Guard cell. Guard cell. We don't have guard cell. We're not tent. No. Should I write that down for you? No. Thank you. 